We've talked a lot about synapses in the brain and doing things differently in order to move your body differently than you've moved before. And so we outsmart the Parkinson's by kind of doing an end run around it. Sometimes with Parkinson's we tend to get jerky in our movements and sometimes because of uh, one side perhaps not operating as well as the other side when we're walking, when we're doing things, we start to step a little differently and get off balance and then we become again tighter, jerkier, we don't have those smooth fluid movements that people have when they're real comfortable within their body. But we can do a few things for them. Today what you're going to want to do is have shoes on or socks on and you'll see why later and you'll need some of that big technical equipment that I always have you getting. Some kind of a ball or an unbreakable object that's more or less the same size as a, a tennis ball. And you'll need a ribbon or some sort of smooth flowing scarf or piece of fabric. And we'll be starting with the ball. What we're going to do is a nice smooth movement with the ball in one hand and hands out to the side. Reach up with both hands and change hands, change the ball over from one hand to the other. It's nice and easy. Now, the thing is that we're focusing on the ball. Don't think about your arms. Think about the ball going back and forth. And that's what the difference is. If we didn't have the ball in our hands and we thought, raise my hands over and touch and bring them down, it's very possible that we'll get stuck someplace. But if you think about the object itself, sometimes you can overcome that, that Parkinson's break that's in there. Now take the ball and put it from one hand to the other in front just back and forth and again concentrate on the ball moving or the object that you have that was just one of those uh, paper cardboard things with ribbon on them was the other object I had so you can always have something around the house that you can do this with now what I want you to do is take the ball and when you go like this I want you to turn your body with it and see how far back you can get the ball Come forward in the middle, change the ball, and turn. Try not to hit the furniture. I had one reader that said they really enjoyed me kicking the furniture and swatting things around. Turn and concentrate on the ball. Concentrate on putting it back as far as you can. As far as you can. Turn your head with this. It'll allow you to turn your shoulders as well. And back. Again, focusing on the ball instead of what you're doing with your arms and your torso is going to allow you to do that much smoother. Now we're going to have to drop down to the feet, so I'm going to move you just a little bit here. Oh. Okay, we have the ball and we're going to set it down on the floor. You're going to have that next to a handhold so that you'll be able to support yourself. And put it about a foot away from your inside foot and you're going to make a circle around the ball by focusing on the ball with your outer foot. Go around oh four or eight times and then go the other direction. But the whole time I want you to look down at the ball. One of the few times I actually have you looking down at your feet as you're doing something. And then you'll do it on the other side. Again, what's happening is that our focus is on the ball instead of on the foot. And you should be able to make a smoother circle with that if you've been having any problems. While we're down here, I have this. You're going to see now why I had that as socks and shoes. Because we're going to just tuck a little wad of that inside of the top of a sock or inside of a shoe and we're going to do a pendulum leg swing forward and back as though it's a pendulum 
Now when you see your foot come forward, you're going to see that little ribbon flip forward and you know it's flipping in back. And I want you to concentrate on trying to make that ribbon flip, 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 flip. Nice and smooth. Think about the ribbon. Keep concentrating on that. And I'm going to bring it up. And you'll be doing it on the other side. But for our purposes, I'm going to bring you back up here. And what we're going to do now is with the ribbon, you can take this and you can loop it over your wrist. Then drop your hand down and grab it. That way you don't have to just hang on to the ribbon. But if you have a shorter ribbon, maybe uh, rubber band it onto your hand if it's hard to hang on to. And the same thing with a scarf. You can just take that scarf and wrap it around a couple of times and then you can hold on to it real loosely instead of having to have a really hard grip. So, with our ribbon, what you're going to do is a figure eight with your hand. But, look at the ribbon. Kind of keep your eyes following that ribbon, making that figure eight. As I'm doing this, you can see, I slow it down, you can see how my wrist comes forward. I'm actually bringing the wrist forward and turning this, and back and forth and around, and of course on the other side. But again, don't think about your hand short of getting the wrist out there. Think about the flipping, easy, smooth movement of that little piece of ribbon. Our last exercise, and it's not in order, by the way, of what you're going to get on the Facebook notes, if you, if you run those up on your Facebook. Uh, we're going to take this and we're going to hang on to it again, just the same way. Good tight grip here. Don't have to grip tightly, but we have it. Now, we're going to take and we're going to make a big circle. Big circle. And that's what you're going to have to think about is the big circle. Now you can do this this way if your torso is pretty tight or if you have dizzy and balance problems or you can just barely do the dip and you'll notice this hand is down here, this one. When I go way down I can support myself so I don't hurt my back if I want to do a real big circle with this and of course we want to go both directions about two to four times in each direction and if you need to before you go to the other side this can be a little on the winding side of exercise so you might want to kind of calm down uh, focus forward if you're a little unfocused and unbalanced and then you'll do your four one two three four and other direction and of course Think about how big this circle is. Kind of watch it as it dribbles across your feet. And one, two, three, four. Play with this just a little bit. See what you can do that's interesting with the ribbon. Maybe turn the same way that we did with the ball passing the ribbon back and forth. Of course, you won't loop it over your wrist. If you do that, you're going to tie yourself up in a knot. But have some fun with this. And I really encourage you to join me on Facebook. Open the notes. It's on the left-hand side. They're always fiddling with Facebook. But at this recording, the notes you run down the left-hand side, click that open. You're going to find over 150 entries, principally Parkinson's exercises, but there's a little more for you there too. I hope you join me.